Now, that was a good race. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you want to see. These horses came out here aggressive, um, ready to, to, to make a race of it and make it a solid pace. So it turns out the number five did not get to play Mr. Peaks. The lead went to Tim Fort Bragg. Joel Rosario, I guess he sensed the horse didn't have enough to be able to come off the pace. So he tried to steal the race. And he did a good job of it, I thought, even though he did only run fifth. He went out there, opened up 46 and three in the opening half. Um, 46 and three fifths. Uh, it was a 110 and uh, three fifths for the opening three quarters. So he really went after it. It was a bit too much for the horse to handle, but he definitely made all the rest of them um, have to earn it. Um, as I said, we're practicing our first, um, Mr. Peaks uh, second. Um, the eight and the nine kind of hung out there uh, near the pace as well, Mr. Ripple and uh, Cyclone Mischief. Uh, that proved to be a decent strategy as that pace was, pa uh, pace was fast. The only one that really came off the pace to make a difference of it was Forte. Once Forte started moving, um, it looked like uh, it, it looked like he was probably going to get it, but but actually, Mage um, number four, Mage Luis Saez, he made a really good race of it. It looked like he might have been able to get a win for a second, but Forte was moving. He moved right past Mage with ease, um, even though it was not much um, <laughs> track left to go before the wire. He made it a, a um, a decent race for him. So Mage was there probably about three quarters lengths off the lead, um, running second. Uh, and uh, third was the nine, um, Cycle Mischief. Fourth was the eight, uh, Mr. Ripple. So we will see Forte going into the Kentucky Derby as the favorite, I'm pretty sure. Heavy favorite. Final time there, 148 and a half. So uh, he did step up the time, show that he can get below those, you know, plus ones and plus twos over even time. So 148 and a half on this one, the mile and an eighth. That's a good time. We'll see what they've got coming up. Arkansas um, here in about 30 minutes, Arkansas Derby. The next week we've got the Blue, we've got Santa Anita, we've got the Bluegrass Stakes. So uh, there's more to go. We'll see who's uh, going to line up here going into this Derby. But right now it looks like Forte's definitely.